Hello again. Sorry about that. I'm having some technical issues this morning, so I'm going to start this all over again. If you are just hopping on, thank you, thank you for being patient with me. I will be there in a moment. I just need to share this to a couple of places, and I'll be happy to get this started for you. My goodness. Technical difficulties are so much fun, aren't they? All right, let's see. Getting there. going to be worth it you guys hang in there this is a super cute project so I am just a few clicks away from getting this going and it will be time to play Page. there one more time and we are ready to go Hey there, if you're just hopping in, if you could just say hello and let me know that you can hear me. Things that seem to be a little wonky this morning. Okay, so I can see I have two viewers. You can give me a thumbs up or a love or say hello and let me know that you can hear me. That would be most helpful. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday, everybody. See if I can get my weird lighting fixed today. I don't know what happened yesterday, but it wasn't good. It wasn't good. I had a weird shadow cast on my project and I couldn't figure out where it was even coming from. So what a pain in the, the neck. I'll say the neck. All right, so nobody's gonna say hello to me. Come on now. I just need to know if this is all working good. It looks fine on my end, but you never know the best laid plans, right? So today we are going to be working on a project that will coordinate with one that we made a couple of weeks ago. If you, let me move this over here so you can see it better. If you happen to be on my live while I was um, in Myrtle Beach, this is the project that we made. It was really fun. It was a frame that I got on clearance somewhere and I took the glass out and I added some craft sticks um, into the background and painted them and kind of aged them so it looked like I don't know, beachy boardwalk kind of feel. I'm getting some new lights. This is ridiculous. Um, so <laughs> we're going to be making a companion piece. This is the seashell that comes on one transfer. And we're it looks like this. And today we are going to make a coordinating piece that also is on the same transfer with the starfish and the title Endless Wonder. So if you have this transfer, lucky you, because this is so, so pretty. This would be a great um, gift for your beach house. It would look great in bathrooms. If you're just a summer person and you like beachy things, this is what you're gonna want. So hang in there and we will get this project going. I'm gonna put this aside for now. So what I did is I'm gonna be doing a little bit different. I'm not gonna frame this one, but I wanted it to have more of a 3D look. So I have um, a block of wood. Let me pop this over here so you can see what I have going on. Here we go. Picture in picture. That way you can see me too. Okay, so I have this block of wood here that I have also painted with kind of an ivory acrylic paint. You can get it anywhere, any hobby store, um, Walmart, hardware store, any, any kind of paint will work. I just use little, little jars of acrylic and this is what the transfer looks like when you get it. And I've also cut out a starfish on my scroll saw. So I've been having fun playing with my scroll saw, coming up with some really, really cute projects. So this one should coordinate really nicely with what we started. So you're gonna see how this all works and we'll get it going. So stay, I don't want that to fall on me. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, let me get my marker. Here we go. Um, I haven't used this part of the transfer yet. I have used this one. So I'm just gonna put that aside because we're not gonna need it today. Um, but we are gonna be using the starfish and the title Endless Wonder. So as always, I always write on the back of my transfer. 
I don't know about you guys, but I call these starfish. Some people have corrected me and said they're sea stars. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? It is what it is. And I'll call it a starfish if I want to, I guess. So I write on the front of my transfers also. I'm just going to write endless on the back. And my initials. The reason I write my initials is because if I'm sharing transfers with other people or working in a group or loan them out I always know which pieces are mine um, and I write on the backs so that I remember not to uh, reattach the transfer to the wrong side of the carrier sheet these can be used washed dried and put back on the carrier sheets and used over and over again the um, this the transfers are super sticky on the back side and this side of the paper is very very uh, silky and slick and you can peel it off of there very easily if you attach it to the back side of your transfer this has a matte finish so it will not pull off very easily I have caught myself doing it a few times if I've forgotten to write on the back so it's just something a kind of a visual clue to remind you um, not to reattach it to the wrong side um, also if you're using a bunch of transfers I'm thinking about the vintage truck that I did earlier this week I used I think five different pieces and it reminds me of which it's a starfish you're my girl Nancy um, it'll remind you of which transfer goes on which carrier sheet because sometimes they're often the same size so I'm gonna start I think I'm gonna start by doing the block and my plan is to be able to stack one of these on top of the other so it'll sit on a shelf so you might notice Good morning, Nancy, that I have put two holes in the bottom of this starfish, and I also put two holes in the bottom of my wood block. Um, my thought process, and my husband and I came up with this, is we were going to put two small dowels through the pegs into the base of the board, um, but we were finding that the wood that I was using was, was um, splitting when we tried to drill in the small piece of MDF. So, plan B, I'm just going to leave those holes on the bottom. And these won't ever show because I'm going to glue them to the top of the base. So what I'm going to do first of all is do Endless Wonder. I think I'm going to put Endless on the top with Wonder below it. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll work on the starfish. So for this project, I'm going to be using the same colors that I did before. If you are just joining me, if you could just sprinkle uh, my video, it helps build my audience engagement and other people will get to see all the fun stuff I get to do when, I, when I'm working and playing with Chalk Couture. So today I'm going to be using iced coffee, guava, and bark. Um, I seem to use bark almost every day lately. It is my go-to color. It's kind of a neutral, right? as is iced coffee. But for this, I'm just gonna do this part in bark. So I'm gonna stir this all up and get it so that it's nice and smooth and about the consistency of cake batter. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer. That's a little better. So, Nancy, did you see the post I sent to Doug? Today is, FYI, um, Abbey Road, is it Abbey Road Day? It's definitely, <laughs> it's a Beatles day. And um, yeah, it's Abbey Road. That's the street where the Beatles had the picture of them on the crosswalk, I believe. And Doug is a huge fan, and I know Nancy is too. I, and I understand she told me she was a bigger fan than Doug was because she's older. Well, <laughs> you win. Good morning, Angela. Good morning. So this is nicely stirred, and I use it a lot, so I didn't need to work it very much. But if it was a little thicker than I want it to be, I'll just add a couple drops of um, distilled water, and I use my little spray bottle here. We also have one um, that is Chalk Couture branded that's very nice to use as well. So I'm gonna peel the transfer from the carrier sheet, and the easiest way to get it off is to roll your thumb along the edge, and it comes right off no need to fight with it all right so i'm going to find the center of this block approximately and just put the letters just below it straight is not my strong suit you guys know that probably but i do my best so i'm thinking that well, looks about right and if it's off that's okay too right i just want to make sure i have it on there fairly straight yeah, that looks good. 
All right, I'm gonna take one of my mini squeegees and rub this down. I wanna make sure there are no bumps, bubbles, or folds in my transfer. The areas that are showing through in white actually are not open areas. There is a silk screen that runs through this whole design, which gives you all of the detail that you see in my projects. If you look closely at this one, let me pull it up so you can see it a little better. I'll try to see if I can. There are little like specks all through that design. See that? It gives it kind of a rustic look, and that is not something that you could do with a, with a stencil, but you can by using a silk screen design like this one. So I'm just going to scoop some of my chalk paste out and cover the letters with my paste. If you are a new chalker, leave it thick. Leave it thick. Don't worry about wasting because all of the excess paste, after you have it covered, gets scraped off and put right back in the jar. I've done this a lot, so I kind of have a feel for how much to use every time. But while you're learning, don't be afraid to use more than you need. So I'm scraping this off. You want a nice thin coat of paste on your uh, your screen. Normally, unless it's a teal color that you're pasting with, you can see the design right through. Okay, let's see, put that aside. We're gonna peel this back. I like to do kind of a low and slow pull on there. Hey, it's even in the center, how about that? Hi Cindy, good morning, good morning. So there's my word endless, and I'm gonna dry this. It dries really, really quickly. Um, if you want to air dry this, it'll be done in uh, five or 10 minutes, but I don't wanna keep you guys here forever, so I am going to dry it with my heat tool. You can use a hair dryer if you'd like. Hey there. That was really fast. Okay, all done. Now I'm gonna put the word wonder beneath it. See if I can keep my fingers out of. Today is the day in 1967 they release All You Need Is Love. That's an awesome song. There aren't too many Beatles songs I don't like. I can't really even think of one. Nancy, did you see the movie? Great, now I can't think of the name of it. Um, it'll come to me, hold on. It's about a guy in England who um, gets into an accident and wakes up from his coma or whatever it was, and he comes to find out that no one has ever heard of the Beatles. It's a really good, yesterday, it's called Yesterday. Really good movie. It's not about the Beatles, it's not like that, but... It's just a really, really nice story and good music. You did a great job. Do you know the one I mean? I actually saw it the first time on an airplane. All right, that looks to be about centered. Let me grab a squeegee and smooth this down nice and tight. I made this a little bit longer than it needed to be and you'll see why at the end. Let's get this on there. That looks pretty good. Grab that squeegee. We'll do the same thing we did before. Have you seen yesterday, Nancy? I'm dying to know. I think Doug saw it. Steve, Steve enjoyed it. So Nancy's brother and my husband have been besties like since high school. <laughs> and they played in a band together called Midnight when they were back in high school and you know everybody kind of left for college and got married and got jobs and moved and did all that stuff but I don't know maybe 20 25 years ago they got together to play for their class reunion um, and they've been playing together ever since so they do a lot of local pubs and restaurants and they just you know they all have a great time together it's good for them You didn't see that, Nancy? I think you should watch that one. I think you'd like it. All right, here we go. Peel and reveal. That 
looks good. I'm kind of proud of myself because it's pretty well centered, I'd say. So I'm going to dry this for just a second. Thanks for popping in this morning. Please remember to hit that S-H-A-R-E tab for me. A while ago, everyone was talking about the fact that Facebook didn't want you to say that word. S-H-A-R-E was taboo, so um, we started saying sprinkle when uh, designers like I do um, are, are live. So that way, Facebook can't shut us down for saying the other word. So I don't know if it's true or not. I don't even know. It could be a hoax but I don't want to find out. So this again, I'm using iced coffee and I'm gonna hold this up close so maybe you can see when the light, there is some separation in there. That is exactly why you wanna be sure to give your chalk paste a stir before you use it. That incorporates all of those colors and oils and pigments. This one feels a little bit thick. I'm gonna give it one little squirt and stir. So do you guys have plans for the weekend? I know that some of the beaches are open and, um, you know, it feels like things are getting a little bit more lax. Is that the word I want to use? As far as people getting together. I know my daughter went back to work in a restaurant last night. I haven't talked to her yet to see how it was. Well, I'm pretty sure she would have been busy because people were dying to get in there. I'm just going to give this, this uh, bark a little bit too. Can't give one a drink and not the other one, right? Friends, don't do that. Now we're gonna grab our coral. No kidding, Nancy. Oh, I still have my stir stick in here from the last time I used it. Um, the guys got together to practice in the drummer Jeff's garage, or barn, I should say, not too long ago. They socially distanced themselves. There was plenty of room, and it sounds like it was really fun. It sounds like they had a great time. And they miss each other. They really do. I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> Nancy, you know where I miss them going to is Crestview. That was a fun place to go. They played at this um, club. I guess it's a golf and tennis club. Not too far from where I live and um, it was on the top of a hill and there's a Six Flags not too far from us and Six Flags did fireworks every Saturday night. I'm not sure if they're doing that this year because they're closed, but it was always nice to go up on the hill and hear the band and watch the fireworks and do all that good stuff. So next I'm gonna be using my Starfish Transfer and because I've never used it before, I'm going to fuzz it. Let's see what's going on here. Hello, Patricia Cook. Welcome, welcome. So I'm going to fuzz this transfer. As I was saying before, our transfers are sticky. And when you first get a new one, lots of times they're super sticky. Let me just move this a little bit. Um, and what this fuzzing does is you're going to, I'm sorry, you're going to lay this on some fabric. It can be a towel. It can be a t-shirt, anything but paper, um, just to pick up a little bit of lint. And that softens the adhesive a little bit. So I'm gonna fuzz this because I've never used it before. This is not a layering piece, but if it was a layered piece, I would fuzz it like crazy um, because if it's, your transfer is too sticky, it can actually pull up the chalk on the first layer when you're trying to do the second layer. So fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for joining me. This is gonna be a really cute project. All right, so this is a Chalk Couture fuzzing cloth. You can also use it for drying your transfer. So after you've uh, washed them, and to wash them, you just put them under lukewarm water and um, brush the chalk off. This is, a, it's a, this is like the most magical tool ever. It's called a board eraser, and when they first came out, I thought, okay, they're for cleaning chalkboards. And they are, but they also are perfect for cleaning your transfers. It's just saves you so much time and muscle and um, it's one of my favorite things to use. So these are towels that we have available if you are interested. Yeah, Nancy, you're right. 
you're right about that. We could maintain social distancing. So I cut out this star, this wooden starfish to fit this pattern. Cross your fingers. Let's see if I've got it going in the right direction. I'm never sure. I might go this way. Maybe yeah, it might go this way. It does. Um, so uh, fortunately, I can see this the starfish from the top. You can see through this somewhat. So I want to kind of get this centered. So it's not in a wonky spot. And my favorite thing to do is just hold them up to the light and you can see exactly where the outline's falling. I can see that this leg is going off just a little bit, so I do need to move it just a smidge. That's always easy to say, but harder to do. Just a smidge. Let's see. Let's try this one. I'm just gonna push it down a little bit and not really rub it down hard. Nope, not quite yet. Let's see. Sometimes this is, goes so smoothly, other times it's like pulling teeth. I think I've got it now though. Jeez, this leg is out of whack here. Could be my the way that I cut it. Let's hope not, but it could be. I'll try to center this one and then go across and see how that works out. If it's not perfect, it's okay too. Hello Robin, good morning. All right, one more time. I gotta move it. <laughs> fussy, fussy. All right, this is how to do it. Let's see. Ugh, all right, I, I, I lied. I'm doing it one more time. Why is this so out of whack? Probably if I held it up to the window and did it, it would work fine, but there it shall stay. Okay, we're good, I think. Sorry about that. It's hard for me to, to stay in the screen sometimes, but I think that ought to do it. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, so what we're gonna do on this one, I'm gonna pull the camera in a little closer so you can see more is the hot mess technique. So this has all been rubbed down. I'm going to go over it one more time with my squeegee. And that looks great. So to do the hot mess technique, and I did this in the seashell as well, um, is a way to blend colors together. So what you do is you take a little bit of each color and you just dab it on the surface. So I'm going to take some of my bark. I'm going to use the same colors I did in the the seashell. I'm going to use more of the the iced coffee than the pink. Um, the seashell definitely tend to have a little bit more pink in them than starfish, but they're mostly brown and tan, I would say. So um, I am gonna use just a little bit. Please don't say pulling teeth. Oh, Nancy, I'm so sorry. I forgot you had some surgery this week. How are you doing? Ooh, I'm glad I didn't have to pull your teeth. <laughs> that stinks, that stinks. Uh, my dentist is still not taking patients unless it's a dire emergency. So. Um, they called because I was supposed to have a cleaning last week and before I even got to say, I'm not really ready to come in yet because of all the virus stuff, they said, we're calling to reschedule. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I just didn't really want anybody messing around in my mouth. That's a little too close for comfort after all this social distancing, right? How are you doing, Nancy? You feeling okay? Hope you're feeling better. So here we go. If you are interested in this transfer, just write starfish in the comments and I can make sure that you get one. If you are interested in a cutout of the base that I made, this wooden piece as well as a starfish, 
um, right bundle in the comments and I will get back to you on that. So after you've got this all nicely dotted up, you're gonna go just pull your trans your squeegee right through all those colors and make it look like a hot mess. And that is how you get that blended color look. It looks like I needed to work a little faster on this one or use a little bit more paste. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more on here and there. You do have to work quickly with chalk paste. It dries fast. Getting this all pulled through. It looks like a hot mess. That's how I felt this morning. I was having trouble getting my live to stream. Grab a little bit more of this right here. Uh, they're having, we're having some construction behind us. They were working on power lines and the trucks are out there taking down the, it's like they put flooring in so they can drive the trucks on it. So they're out there banging away. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's noisy. And last time they were here, I noticed that my Wi-Fi was a little wonky too. So I'm just gonna blame them. Blame the big trucks. Now normally I would scrape off all the excess paste and put it back in the jar, but because I have blended them together and made a hot mess, I am just scraping it onto a paper towel off to the side and it will get disposed of. All right, let's get this fat line off and we are done. Let's pull this baby off and see how our starfish looks. Oh, she's pretty. There we go. What happened there? Oh, I know what that is. Okay. So I have a couple little lines right here. And the reason I have those is because there's a word on this transfer that runs off of off of the side of the starfish. So I can clean that off if I can find a Q-tip, which I don't see one anywhere. Oh, I got one. I got one. Back molar on the bottom, so it's just aggravating. Ah, yikes. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I hate having my teeth worked on. I do, I mean, I do it all the time. Every six months I go in, but when they tell me I have no cavities, I am a happy girl. There, that came right off. How's that? Okay, so I've got two more things that I want to do to add to this. Look how cute this is gonna be. Can you see it? I'm gonna close up my jars. I wanna leave them closed as much as possible. The more air that you um, expose them to, the quicker they dry and harden. And usually you can bring them back to life if they're not as hard as hockey pucks, but sometimes you really have to work at it. So, put these away. Do you guys have any questions about anything that I'm doing? Please ask, don't be shy. Go back out a little bit. There we go, how's that look? So I'm gonna hit this with the heat tool for just a moment and then we're gonna do some distressing. And then we're gonna add something really fun to the bottom of the title bar. All right, that was pretty good. Put this stuff away. Can't reach my trash barrel today. You love this? Thank you. So my, I'm a beach girl. I don't know if it's because I was born in the summer or just I love the beach and finding starfish is always fun. So what I'm gonna do, and I did it with the other piece as well, is I went along the edges with a little bit of Distress Ink just to kinda grunge it up a little bit. It's very, very clean, and if you like that look, that's all right. But I wanted it just to, to look a little bit like it's been, you know, a piece of driftwood or whatever. So I'm using Tim Holtz Vintage Photo Ink. You can get this at any craft store. And I'm using, it's, this is called a dauber. It's kind of like a thimble um, with a sponge on the end. And I'm just kind of lightly going around the edges. You don't want to, like, put a big line. You just kind of dirty it up a little bit, I guess. Just tap it along on the edges. Tap it along. Don't need any special hidden talents for this one, guys. You can see how easy this stuff is to work with. My chalks, ink, everything. Just going along. And I'm gonna hit all of the edges, I guess. Why not? I 
Thanks, Nancy. Need a bomb.com. <laughs> Again, thanks for hitting that S-H-A-R-E tab button for me, guys. Just helps build my audience a little bit. I love having uh, people that have never seen this come in. I love people that have seen it lots of times. They come in and say, oh, you should try this or that. And yeah, definitely take your advice, too. So that looks pretty good. It's, it's subtle. It's subtle, and that's what I wanted. I didn't want it to look like I painted the edges. So I'm going to do the same thing around the edges of the starfish, nice and light. It's just a little bit of color, but it adds so much dimension, it is crazy. All right, let me flip it over and do the back. This looks like something you'd find like in a boutique um, on the Cape or something. I got my hot glue going and we're gonna put this all together. But I'm gonna add a little bit of like rope to the edge, the edge of the bottom board. Because we should, right? All right, so I have the those pre-drilled holes on the bottom, which I'm not going to use, but you won't even see it when I'm done. Okay, so I'm all done with the ink. Now, I'm going to take my, this is just like jute. I wanted to do a couple wraps around the end, the edges with this. Are you having people over to do, no, I haven't been able to do any project workshops. I'm so sad because I really, really miss my customers coming. Um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to manage it. At some point, I really would like to get back into that again. And uh, we'll see. Um, it's all... Because I do my project workshops in my house, it's in my home, so I'm even a little bit more cautious about who's he, who comes over. Um, not too many people have been to my house outside of my own kids. But I do really miss it. Look at that, I almost burned myself. Oh, nothing like a glue gun burn, huh? Fortunately, it's not not too hot still. The dauber, I get that you can get the daubers in craft stores or Amazon, one of those places. So I'm just gonna wrap this around a couple of times. I like the way this looks. Maybe three or four times on each end. Let's add a little bit of something something to it. Yeah, that looks like enough. Oh my nose is so itchy. Whew. I have allergies lately. Tammy, are you a first time viewer? I don't remember, recognize your name. Welcome if you are, and if you're not, welcome too. All right glue this part down and then I'm going to do the other side. Try not to burn myself too badly here. My mom used to do uh, floral arrangements and she'd use hot glue a lot. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm just hot gluing the rope around the edges and gluing it down in the back mostly. Let me grab a little bit here. It seems a little loose, but oh my gosh, my mom used to burn her fingers oh, so bad. You gotta be careful with that glue gun. Look how cute that looks with the rope. Yep, let's do the other side now. Hello, Valerie, welcome. Are you a first time viewer? Have you been here before? Maybe recognize your name. Happy to see new people all the time too. So I do try to go live every weekday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I know that's a little early for people on the west coast or central part of the country, but I do um, keep the replays on my on my Facebook page. I also have a VIP group if you guys are interested in that. In my VIP group, I'm allowed to do 
specials and sales and things that I'm not allowed to offer in my business page. So if you are interested in being in my VIP group and are not a designer, designers are not allowed in that page, uh, write VIP in the comments. Whoa, you are a designer, welcome. Yeah, you're always welcome to pop in. But in contact via computer. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Yes, first time viewer, but in contact via computer. Oh, you might have messaged me or something before. Glad to have you here. So yeah, I've been a designer for, it'll be three years in October and actually the company that I work for, Chalk Couture, is celebrating its third birthday this week, as a matter of fact. And when I started, there weren't very many designers out there. So I had to learn a lot of things on my own. Ooh, let me put that away for now. I'm gonna need it again, actually. So what do you think of that? I love the rope on there. I think that looks super cute. And then we're gonna glue our starfish on here. Okay, Valerie VIP. Okay, Valerie. All right, Valerie, you are not a designer, so yeah, I can have you in my VIP group, and I will absolutely invite you in as soon as I am done with this live. So the only thing left to do is to glue the starfish on, so I'm gonna put glue on his little feet here. You could use, um, a wood glue or any other kind of glue if you wanted to. I'm not that patient. I like hot glue. <laughs> Dries fast. If you don't burn yourself, it works great. I can't really lay this on its side to show you this, but I'm sure you know how to do it. He's got a little glue on his feet. So cute. Oh my gosh. Don't you love it when your um, your projects come out like you think, or like, you, like you imagine they will? So this one, I love, it's super cute, super, super cute. So again, if you are interested in the Endless Wonder Transfer, um, let me know if you're interested in the star cutouts in the board, let me know about that. And I can make sure that you get exactly what you need. So, Cindy, I know you have the transfer already. So look how cute these look together. Nice little grouping. You could put these in your bathroom, in your beach house, in your camper. If you're a beach girl like me, you can put it anywhere you want to. Let me see if I can get you back out so you can see them both. So there we go. What do you think? Did you enjoy this project? I hope you did. Oh, I got a heart from somebody. Thank you. All right. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to be back and I'm going to try something I have never ever tried before um, because a couple weeks ago I posted an image of some decorated sneakers. So I'm going to attempt to ink some sneakers with you guys. Um, no guarantees. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about the shoes because they're flexible and while you're putting chalk on I'm a little concerned that it might bleed but we're going to do it anyway. Um, they were um, just some shoes that I picked up at Walmart. So if it's a complete flop, it's okay. I didn't pay for any, uh, you know, fancy name brands. So we're going to try that. So that'll be tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Um, so be sure to pop in. As somebody said yes. Valerie said yes. I'm not sure what you said yes to, but thank you. Thank you for saying it looks lovely. Do I do scrapbook weekends? Um... Valerie, I will message you about that. I do indeed. I have a group that goes out um, of my own that grows out October and April. Um, it's kind of up in the air right now because of COVID. If um, I'm going to be able to make that happen this fall. But I also work with a group and travel around New England as a scrapbook vendor. So thank you for asking. And if you would like more information about that, I'd be happy to share it with you. So that is my project for today. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. If you're interested in the transfer, write transfer in there. If you're interested in the wood pieces, let me know about that too and I will um, get in touch with you. I hope to see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.